Hey everybody, I'm Zelda Master and welcome to an update slash discussion video. In this video, I want to discuss Hyrule Warriors Legends. Yeah, surprise, it's not about Breath of the Wild, which is what most of my discussion videos are about. But before I do get into this video, I want to update you guys on why I haven't been uploading in the past couple days. And that is because uh, if you couldn't tell by my setup, yes, I'm in a different room. I switched rooms as of recently, as well as I upgraded my computer, so hopefully Finally, videos will resume daily from tomorrow. That's the plan at least. I'm currently settling in and decide to record this quick video because, and to get into why I'm making this video, uh, Nintendo recently revealed a new update, a new DLC patch thing coming out for Hyrule Warriors uh, Legends, and that is the a Link Between Worlds pack. Now, uh, when I first saw it, I'll be honest, I, I wasn't too excited um, because here's the thing and, and don't get me wrong I love A Link Between Worlds they're adding for those who don't know and who, for those who haven't heard the new uh, reveal about you know the Link Between Worlds pack uh, they're adding freaking Ravio which is going to be a playable character as well as Yuga um, as well as you know new maps and whatnot but I don't really care about that what is surprising me the most is the fact that Ravio and Yuga are gonna be playable in Hyrule Warriors and Hyrule Warriors Legends because I'm pretty sure you could still port all the characters to it here's the thing and here's my issue here this is why when I see this it kind of upsets me it's like Hyrule Warriors Legends is getting so much DLC and uh, it's the version of the game I don't like playing Hyrule Warriors which is on the Wii U works perfectly, plays better than the 3DS, but for some reason isn't getting the same treatment as Hyrule Warriors Legends. Now, I know why. I'm pretty sure Nintendo's trying to, you know, sweep the Wii U under the rug, forget about it, whatever. I get it. Like, you know, the 3DS is gonna have all the good games on it. It's gonna port over whatever was on the Wii U that was really fun. Like, uh, what's it called? Uh, Super Mario 3, or Super Mario Maker, that's it. I was gonna say Super Mario 3D World. I'm like, what? That'd be cool if it was on the 3DS, but I doubt that or uh 3d yeah it is world land is actually on the 3ds so okay <laughs> but my point here is yeah i feel like the you know the 3ds is just getting whatever um you know game that was on the wii u that was really good that could be ported just so the game doesn't die out when the wii u dies out because you know nintendo's kind of you know burying the Wii U if you couldn't tell with all of these new releases on the 3DS as well as uh, the NX coming out very soon uh, hopefully within uh, spring of next year so we're gonna be getting it real soon within less than a year as well as Breath of the Wild so I'm super excited but my point here is and this kind of follows up into the video I uploaded about a week ago which was about the Nintendo Switch and me not liking the fact that it is portable and I feel like that will remove a couple capabilities from what the console could have been um, I actually received a lot of negative feedback from that video and it was because a lot of you guys were disagreeing with my opinion though I feel like a lot of you guys haven't watched till the very end of that video because I end up kind of contradicting myself and saying oh I'm excited for the switch regardless it's just I can't help but be worried because I did receive a lot of comments saying that I'm not willing to open up to something new when in reality I am it's just I was worried at first but I feel like not many people watched the whole video uh, my point here is and the reason why I'm referencing this is because I feel like my opinion is very similar to the Nintendo Switch or at least uh, my opinion in the Nintendo Switch video uh, and that is why I don't like Hyrule Warriors Legends as much as I liked Hyrule Warriors for the Wii U and um, yeah essentially it's because it is on a handheld console and uh, the, the graphics, the graphics. And, and not just the graphics I hate I hate when I say the graphics because I'm, I'm a type of person who doesn't really care about the visual graphics too much but um the the way the game looks on it and the way it plays is really choppy clunky bad and just unfun compared to how it played on the wii u now i do think if hyrule warriors legends was a standalone game and the wii u version never came out I'm pretty sure I would ne never have said any of this. I I'd be happy, content with Hyrule Warriors Legends. I would have forced myself to play it. But knowing that there's another option out there, that there is Hyrule Warriors for the Wii U that came out before the game, that plays in 1080p, that looks really good, that, you know, is, is just overall better. It's sad that this, this game is not getting the same DLC as Legends. Now I know you can port the characters, but that's pretty much it. And you have to play, you have to own the 3DS version to get the ones on the Wii U. And I don't believe you can buy the DLC 
for the Wii U whatsoever. It's meant to be bought in on the 3DS and then ported to the Wii U, which, uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> I don't know, it's just, to me, that sucks, because it's like, they've added so much. Not only have they added Ravio and Yuga, but they've added uh, Phantom Zelda, they've added Toon Link, and, you know, all of the new characters that came in Legends, with like Tetra, uh, the King of Red Lions, I believe... Um, Medley, yeah, Medley as well, and they added Marin from a Link, uh, Link's Awakening, so, yeah, Link Between Worlds, uh, is cool, and then there's a bunch of other games as well recently added into the game, and Hyrule Warriors Legends essentially feels like, uh, the equivalent of what Mario Party is to the Mario series, it's just a mashup, uh, a little, uh, spin-off of all the Zelda games in one, where you can have fun, and I love that concept, I've been wanting, like, a Zelda car or a you know Zelda party or something like what Nintendo does with Mario for Zelda I I mean I do love the the main games and all but I do think it's cool for Nintendo to kind of make like a side project that isn't as uh, important to the series as the other uh, titles within the series and a good example would be Triforce Heroes. That feels like a really uh, laid-back Zelda game that you just play multiplayer. It's meant to be multiplayer. You play with friends. I mean, you can play single-player. But my point is, there is a gimmick behind it. And uh, same thing with Four Swords. And that's cool. I like games with gimmicks. You know, it doesn't have to be the same Zelda formula. I think it'd be cool for, uh, you know, Nintendo to branch out. Now, I do know Koei Tecmo uh, was kind of behind Hyrule Warriors, so they're the reason why we got Hyrule Warriors. It wasn't all Nintendo, but and it became essentially a Dynasty Warriors of Zelda. But I think that's cool, and I really hope Nintendo keeps pushing to that direction and makes more Zelda spin-offs. Doesn't have to be another Hyrule Warriors, but anything. And I really do hope like the uh, Nintendo Switch gets some sort of port of Hyrule Warriors Legends, because. Yeah, people who own it on the Wii U are missing out big time, especially if you don't want to buy it again on the uh, the 3DS. Now, coming from someone who played, I want to say, 300 plus hours of Hyrule Warriors, and then going to play Hyrule Warriors Legends, it's such a downgrade in every single way. Um, like, the, the game is still good, because it's, it's still Hyrule Warriors, which I enjoy so much, but it's like, it's so hard to play. Like, I've actually... For those who don't know, I've tried streaming it, and, uh, just, I don't know, I, I, it's too clunky, and it's just, I don't like holding it. I've done episodes of Let's Plays on it, and it, I don't know, I, I guess, in reality, all I'm trying to say is, maybe for a game that is meant to become a super button masher grind fest, uh, it, porting it onto the 3DS isn't a bad idea because I know a lot of people might like it and I know this is just my opinion and a lot of people might disagree but it would have been nice to also get it on the Wii U and that's my issue here and that's why I'm kind of making this video to get your opinions on what you guys think of Hyrule Warriors Legends and if you think it sucks as well like I do on how Nintendo didn't consider to give us all the legend DLC for the original version of the game because I feel like that would have handled it much better. It feels weird. I mean, why didn't we get more DLC on that version of the game and then the 3DS one get just the characters ported over? I feel like that would have made more sense because the 3DS is a 3DS. You'd assume it'd have less content than the one on the home console, but I guess not. Now, I do know a lot of people who, you know, might say, oh, but look at a game like Monster Hunter, and that's a game I played so much of on the 3DS and I enjoyed it. Yeah, that, that, that's very true that there are games that are similar to Hyrule Warriors, that are a grind fest, that are a button masher, that do play on the 3DS, but it's not optimized. For, it, was, it was essentially made for the 3DS when you look at Monster Hunter, but when you look at Hyrule Warriors Legends, it was made for the Wii U, and you can tell it was made for the Wii U. The game doesn't play like it was meant to play a 3DS game. Like, when you look at Ocarina of Time 3D and see, like, the 3D visuals compared to, like, Hyrule Warriors, you'll notice a difference that the game is a lot worse overall. It's just, like, not meant to be on the 3DS or playable on the 3DS. Um, and that's just my opinion. I feel like I've just come a lot of... I've come up with... with my own opinion on it, and I just I just don't really like the 3DS version of the game, and it pains me every time to see these new updates every time for the, you know, 3DS version, it's just like, come on, and I know in, in the end I'm gonna end up forcing myself to play it and then just upload all my characters onto the Wii U, 
Uh, I don't know how it really works, because here's the thing, I never gave myself a chance to play the 3DS version that much because of how, like, uh, bad it is. And like I said before, it's like when you compare it to Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter was made for the 3DS. It plays well on the 3DS. It's much different than the way Hyrule Warriors was. It was a port, and it feels like a port. It feels strongly like a port, and a much crappier port than the original. So, yeah, this was my video hating on Hyrule Warriors Legends, pretty much. I don't hate it, I just hate the concept, and I wish it was on the Wii U, because I love Hyrule Warriors. I love Dynasty Warriors, and having that as Zelda is so cool, and I can't wait for Ravio to come out. I'm most likely going to have to commit to playing through the 3DS one, just so I can upload it on the Wii U, and then maybe I'll make videos showing it off on the Wii U. It's just I hate playing it on the 3DS, so I don't plan on playing it too much on the 3DS, because I just don't enjoy it. And I feel like, like I said, just because I know that there is a Wii U version of the game, it's it's hard to just enjoy when you're when the game is just a million times worse than it originally would have been on the Wii U. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It was just kind of me complaining uh, about the game, because I, I kind of felt like I wanted to have a little rant telling you guys why I don't like Hyrule Warriors Legends, so you guys can understand why I discontinued it on my channel, and why... Oh man, I'm so excited for the DLC, but just put it on the Wii U, please, Nintendo. Like, uh, I just hate how the middleman is going to be the 3DS for all of this. But whatever. Anyways, what do you guys think of Hyrule Warriors? Be sure to let me know in the comments. And Hyrule Warriors Legends, of course. What do you think of the new DLC? Do you play the 3DS version? Uh, or do you just prefer the Wii U version? Uh, let me know, because, you know, it'd be fun to know your guys' opinions as well. Uh, maybe I'm not the only one who hates the game. Maybe I am. Who knows? But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Anyways, I've been Zelda Master. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!